Hello everyone, whosoever is joining. So today we are live office. So I came to Karnal and I am here with Hiraj. He came from here. So I have planned for uh, live. So today uh, Facebook and uh, YouTube are uh, both live. Hai. And the topic uh, for today is uh, uh, SDS versus non-SDS for Canada study visa. Uh, I don't know how many people are going to join, but uh, whatsoever, uh, whosoever is going to join, that's fine. Uh, we will go ahead with that. Uh, if if there is any question, any queries, uh, we can take those queries at, at the end. And uh, I have asked Dheeraj to uh, transfer all the queries to uh, YouTube session. So uh, if you have any queries, either post it on uh, YouTube and dance or Dheeraj will transfer it to uh, YouTube. Okay, so uh, let uh, if people join, I don't know today as well how many people are going to join. Raj video shirt me hai, so both comment at the shirt me video. Raj shirt with the office be hai. I don't come to office, so I operate from uh, home most of the time. Or uh, Dheeraj yaha office me rata hai. If someone wants to meet uh, Dheeraj, uh, they can come to Karnal, uh, Mughal Kanal me office. And if someone wants to meet me, so I am mostly available online. So you can talk to me, call me, and you can ask me if you have any doubts. Uh, so mostly my office is online. Dheera is physically available in Karnal, Haryana. Okay, uh, let's uh, go to the discussion. That is uh, on uh, uh, SDS versus non-SDS for Canada study visa. So I have felt that there is a lot of confusion about SDS and non-SDS. What are the requirements? How do you file a file? What do you have to do in a file? What are the non-SDS? What are the approval rates in non-SDS? What are the approval rates in SDS? Why SDS is preferred and SDS, why it is on in existence? So there are so many uh, problems uh, related to in terms of showing for so many things. Uh, so SDS uh, student direct stream a category है ये visa की category है uh, study visa application की category है ना कि ये किसी admission की category है so wherever you want to take admission in Canada so you can take admission file लगाते हुए आप SDS या non SDS में file लगा सकते हैं so you can go for either SDS or non SDS why SDS is preferred and what is the difference between SDS and non SDS we are going to discuss uh, this difference uh, today so uh, SDS ki requirement discuss karte hai. First, uh, first of all, what is the requirement for SDS? So while applying for SDS, there are three major requirements. First requirement is you need to have IELTS score six band and above. So kisi module mein six band se kam nahi hone chahiye. Overall score six and each module six. So it cannot be below that. So first requirement is you need to have six or more bands if you want uh, to some aapka this is just a requirement that you kiss his eyes. Now, there is a question whether eyes generally is accepted or not. As per IRCC, there is no mention that for SDS category, you need to have uh, your uh, eyes general is not accepted. Even it has been confirmed by IRCC on their Twitter handle, mentioned that eyes general training test. Hi but on SDS page, it is nowhere mentioned that you Usme general training chahiye ya academy chahiye. So I believe and I even go for that. Uh, aap apni file general ya fir uh, academic ke saath apni file laga sakte hain. But colleges or universities don't accept IELTS GT for giving admission. So in that case you require, these days Duolingo is also accepted. Uh, wo aapke, uh, due to COVID, ye kuch test as IELTS uh, academic or even they accept uh, uh, Duolingo. These days it is going. So you can go for uh, all these things to take admission. But for uh, application of study visa, you can go for either uh, uh, your IELTS GT or IELTS Academy. So dono hi apne aap SDS category mein laga sakte hai. So this is first requirement. Second requirement is you need to pay the fee of first year, tuition fee of first year year for your college and uh, university. So ek saal ki aapka fee deposit karani hai. That is Aapki university ki fee, either it is one dollar or it is one lakh dollar. Whatever fee is there for first year, you need to deposit that first year fee and you need to have that receipt in hand that you have deposited the fee for first year. So, wo receipt aapko upload karni hoti hai 
देर विल बी ए सेक्शन वेर यू नीड टू अपलोड वो रिसिप्ट आपको अपलोड करनी होगी सो यू नीड टू अपलोड योर आइल्स मोर देन सेकेंड थिंग द रिसिप्ट ऑफ फर्स्ट ईयर ऑफ ट्यूशन फी थर्ड थिंग पहले क्या होता था कि आपको प्रूफ ऑफ फंड दिखाने होते थे बट इन एस डी एस देर इज वन मैथड दैट यू नीड टू डिपोजिट टेन थाउजेंड डॉलर इन यूर कैनेडियन अकाउंट ये आप ही के पैसे हैं दिस इज योर मनी इट विल बी सेव्ड इन योर कैनेडियन अकाउंट यूर कैनेडियन अकाउंट एंड दिस मनी विल बी देयर विद यू थ्रू आउट द ईयर तो ये मनी आपको टू थाउजेंड डॉलर इसमें से इमिडिएटली आफ्टर रीचिंग कैनेडा आफ्टर गोइंग टू बैंक यू विल गेट दिस मनी बैक After that, eight thousand dollars. You will get this money in portions every month. So no, uh, Scotia Bank, you get every month. Deta hai. CIBC, you get eight equal installments. Me deta hai, one thousand dollars. So uh, there are different uh, provisions for that. But throughout your year, you will keep on getting that money back. So your money that is going to be saved there uh, in your Canadian account. So this is this can be your saving. You can uh, use this money for your accommodation and uh, expenses. और वट यू कैन डू यू कैन सेम स्टूडेंट और आप वो वाला पैसा कैन सेव सम मनी फॉर यूर नेक्स्ट ईयर फी सो इधर इट कैन बी जी आई सी सबमिट दाइल विदाउट इवन एस ओ पी डोंट डू दैट एटलीस्ट राइट समथिंग आई हैव ऑलरेडी गिवन गाइडलाइंस हाउ यू शुड राइट द एस ओ पी एंड वट आर द एक्शन यू शुड इंक्लूड तो अकॉर्डिंग टू दैट हो सकती है एंड इट इफ नॉट लाइक फ्रेश केसेज में Uh, all the files will be rejected if there is no SOP. That is not the case, obviously. But uh, why to take a chance? Uh, if you can attach SOP, if you can uh, make a submission of SOP, and if you can uh, submit uh, the financial capacity, आप उसमें CA report or evaluator uh, report अगर submit कर सकते हो, it is uh, uh, most of the students uh, out of out of ten, nine students are going to get uh, their visa. So uh, it is really preferred that. Uh, You go for SDS category if you can manage all those things. So upfront charges are uh, mostly 15 to 16 lakh, uh, out of which five six lakhs are uh, uh, your savings in Canada in your uh, in your account uh, in your Canadian account. So it is always preferred to go for uh, SDS. And uh, what is there in non SDS and how we put files in non SDS and what kind of files we send in non SDS. So if someone uh, takes uh, pt test rather than ielts then file goes to non sts but still we always prefer that uh, student pay the fee for first year and student uh, 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 deposit the gic as well so uh, after completion of these two things if there is ielts requirement he is unable to fill then uh, we put the file in non sts but at least we attach something in non sds Uh, it is not mandatory to submit any of these things so you can go without ielts you can go without uh, the submission of uh, first year fee you can go without the submission of gic so you can do you can remove all these requirements and you can just submit the file but the acceptance chances in those cases will be really really low i would say more than less than 5% if you don't submit any of these if there is uh, uh if there is a case that uh, you are applying with pt or your ielts score in one module is uh, less than 6 maybe in one module it is 5.5 in that case the acceptance uh, chances may be uh, uh maybe 50 50 it's like that so or a little bit more so uh, here again the chances uh, of getting visa are uh, kind of shaky so non sds is mostly non preferred and there are few countries just like bangladesh where sds and non sds this kind of provision is not there it is there in uh, india pakistan philippines uh, morocco uh, uh, there are five six seven countries for that in india and pakistan it is there for sure so uh, when you apply from these countries even though you apply from any other country still uh, rather than showing funds in your own account it's better to go for uh, doing gic rather than showing long term funds in your account gic is again a better proof so even though there is not specific not a specification that sds versus non sds in bangladesh post or any other country still if you deposit uh, gic 10000 dollar it it makes your application secure that you have deposited the amount for your survival uh, of next one year in canada so it is always better to go for uh, these provisions 
uh, even though there is no SDS or non-SDS name in in a few countries. So it's better to go for SDS always. So uh, the requirements are simple. Three major requirements: one IELTS six or above, one year of admission fee, and third is uh, uh, sorry, one year of tuition fee of the university or college. And the last is uh, your ten thousand dollar GIC. Why this came into picture? This SDS was in non SDS because uh, students uh, uh, were keep showing the money in bank in their account by borrowing from uh, some uh, someone somewhere, and after reaching to Canada, uh, they just uh, keep on returning that money, and uh, they had nothing to survive in Canada. So that was creating some problem. So that's why this SDS came into picture where. Uh, with all these provisions, it is just like a sure shot sure that this money is yours, and you cannot just take this money out uh, uh, together and cannot uh, send it to someone from where you borrowed it, this money. So it it is always preferred to go for uh, SDS in in that scenario. That's why the chances of uh, acceptance is high because of these provisions in it. And especially whosoever applies with experience, it is really, really, really highly preferred that. Uh, You score six point five or seven bands to make your profile stronger. So always go for SDS and uh, make the higher, uh, higher, uh, take the higher bands in uh, uh, SD uh, in in your IELTS. So that is always preferred uh, because your IELTS score always uh, makes sense. Always uh, make your uh, profile stronger. That you are a good student, bona fide student. Your English is good, and you are going to complete that program. So that's why it is preferred for uh, someone who is. Uh, uh who is going with uh, uh, sds and who is going with experience uh, a lot of experience so experience cases are already really weak because of uh, five seven uh, five six seven years of experience eight years of experience or even more so in that cases they need to be extra careful and their sop must be submitted and it must be really strong as well with all the proofs so this was the differentiation between uh, sds and non sds if there are any there are any question you can put the your questions in comment uh, i would try to answer those questions uh, it was a short live but uh, i wanted to make one live from the office so today i uh, came here to meet someone uh, to meet dheeraj and jyoti as well they sit here and uh, mostly i operate from my home uh, from my room but today okay i got the opportunity and so i thought of making uh, this video from here uh if there is there are any question uh, you can uh, uh, leave a comment or if someone wants to uh, ask someone directly you can ping me on uh, plus 9198123808282 that is my whatsapp number uh and you can call me whatsapp me on this number so if there is any question i am here for a few minutes and uh, i can answer those questions I don't know how to check questions on Facebook. Uh, if there are any comments, uh, I'm not really sure about it. Okay, uh, if someone can post it on uh, uh, YouTube, it will be fine because I am able to see the screen questions here. So uh, that's what that that's all. That was the reason I wanted to make a video. Also, I'm thinking uh, that. Uh, uh, i should go live regularly rather than uh, making videos editing them and posting them right now i am not uh, finding enough time to make all those videos uh, there are so many phone calls of so many queries and i am busy with uh, a few facebook groups as well where i am uh, uh, where i am just uh, uh, posting my answers my observations my posts and everything that can help uh, someone uh, to get their visa so whosoever wants to apply by themselves or whosoever wants to go with us so we are fine with everything it's all about helping a few people so that so that they don't get any rejection so if you want to go with us uh, if there is a fresh case there is no fee uh, from you the only fee you need to give that those are the official fees uh, it is application fee for university or college then uh, your uh, uh, one year tuition fee that you need to pay to university or college then Uh, your gic and last the embassy fee so we don't charge anything in that case so there are no charges and uh, one more thing we create sops and everything on our own we don't pay people 500 rupees or something so i write all the sops for all the canadian students on my own 
so i have written so many sops and in last one month or so my observation is uh, uh, there are so many uh, weird things going on in terms of uh, sops and all people, people pay somewhere or uh, there are consultancies who just ask you to write sop and i have seen really really poor uh, creepy sops and uh, yesterday i just uh, corrected a few sops as well but uh, see this is a professional thing and uh, i don't know uh, i did it for free for those students uh, it was better means i felt that uh, with those sops their visa might be rejected and even though they were not my students or not my clients uh, still i felt that uh, uh just because of that poor sop or wrong wordings uh, in that or poor uh, uh poor sections or all the sections were not covered so it's better to i correct it and uh, give it to them uh, but uh, i i may not be able to do it for for a long time if uh, that will be the case that i need to correct sops of people so uh, we take care of the entire case it's better we start from beginning and we go till the end uh, so that is always uh, preferred and we don't charge whatever we get from colleges and universities that is enough for us and for experienced people as well uh, we don't quote anyone and uh, whatsoever you feel that uh, is the value of your dream you can pay it uh, later on at the end so but we are not going to quote you and whatever you are going to pay it is going to be after getting the visa so even though uh, these cases are risky but uh, still i feel that uh, Uh, i can do justice but i don't take anything in advance uh, whatever we are going to take we are going to take after getting the visa and that too i am not going to ask for it if you feel that we have done something good to you if we have uh, given a good service to you and uh, your dream is now done you are able to reach canada through study visa even after having uh, some great experience in your country so you can pay us we are not going to ask you we are not going to quote you so that's the policy going on that's the policy right now uh so i have a few clients from pakistan and from bangladesh from other countries as well yeah i am international <laughs> so uh, i can provide the consultancy from anywhere that's not a big big deal but big problem everything is online we can prepare all the documents and upload from here from uh, from india from this country and it is going to be same for you like just as you submitted the application and we will provide you all the credentials uh, uh, if you need so after submission of your file so you are going to have uh, the access of your file so i want to stay transparent but few things are there that uh, people ask me for transparency to provide credentials for applications when we apply for any college or university so those credentials we apply through portal we create your profile in portal uh, but we cannot share the credentials of portal so there is some foundation as well but uh, my policy is to keep you updated whenever we have applied for you whatever the fee is there and we are not interested in any small amounts of like selling the offer letters or all those things we are not interested in those kind of practices so my way of doing it is uh, to create the complete trust and uh, uh to manage the cases in manage the people in uh, best possible way so i want to change the mentality and i want to decrease the gap between consultants and uh, clients so that is my way of doing uh, uh, this service and uh, i feel that uh, cases are sometimes tough and uh, i don't know how to ask for fee how to ask for uh, uh, so many things Uh, so that's why we don't we have stopped quoting so i don't know later on what is going to happen i hope i i may not require or i i don't want it to be required to ask people for money so if we uh, start getting enough cases i hope if we can survive with the, the amount we are going to get with the, uh, from college or university we are fine with that there, there shouldn't be any problem so we are fine with that kind of policy if it it can benefit you because of all the services and it can avoid so many mistakes that someone if if he or she is applying directly if you can avoid those mistakes uh, while going with us and when we are not charging anything especially in fresh cases or experience little bit of experience cases with little bit of experience so when we are not charging anyone even though you have experience we we are not quoting you in that case as well when we are not charging you you have nothing to lose it's all about trust 
and if you have trust in that case uh, uh, so you can go ahead with us so it's all about uh, how uh, so i can just say things and make you believe on me uh, i have made the last live the live number 6 it was specially on on the relation between me and my uh, clients or uh, who so are uh, is joining me or asking me for help so that is helping is my nature and i just want to keep on doing that and i don't want to charge you something special for all these things and there are so many queries uh, from from the people who are not even my clients there are so many queries related to ms phd they are not my client there are so many queries related to people who are going to universities which are not on panel still i am answering those queries i am sharing those things just like uh, format of uh, writing sop no one shares uh, those kind of things uh, when someone is professional so m- my belief is uh, if if it can help someone in some way so, see if someone is going to apply by themselves no one is going to stop or uh, they are not going to go with any consultant it's my way of uh, uh, delivering those things delivering my services or delivering back or showing that i have knowledge and i have skills to do do, uh, do those things so whatever i observe i have written a long post uh, in a in an fb group and uh, facebook group and uh, on my wall as well i have shared it i have shared with the uh the canadian uh, dream group in uh, uh, in my whatsapp so there are so many people there i have shared with all the people who have asked me anything earlier so whosoever joined me earlier so i shared those things with uh, with everyone so i don't want to hide things or i don't want to create anything or do anything which create uh, any distrust or shows any dishonesty or uh, shows that i am not transparent so i want to stay transparent as much as possible i want to build that trust and i want to keep on going with that trust as well i am a scholar by myself and uh, uh, right now i am in india my phd is going on uh, from india 